school on plasma, one of the weirdest substances in the entire universe. Researchers at CERN and Brookhaven spend millions just trying to study this state of matter for fractions of a second. But what is it, and why is it so important? Well, to really understand it, let's take a closer look at the other states of matter. In solids, intermolecular forces are greater than the kinetic energy, or Ke, and atoms are locked into position, just like how I'm locked into position by my sister. Increasing the temperature, the Ke of molecules and liquids is enough to let atoms slide freely, but not enough to overcome intermolecular forces holding them together. By making the liquid even hotter, we get a gas. At the gaseous state, the Ke of the molecules is much greater than intermolecular forces, and they move freely. But what if we make it even hotter? By adding even more energy, molecules don't just get further apart. Parts within the molecule can actually separate, just like how I can add energy to make these Legos further, but by adding even more energy, I can break them apart. Electrons can overcome their attraction to the nuclei and separate, moving freely. This state of matter is called plasma. And what if we make it even hotter than that? We're looking at temperatures of around 4 trillion degrees Celsius. Under these conditions, quark gluon plasma, or QGP, can finally be formed. Nucleons have the energy to break down to even smaller particles. Protons and neutrons are made of smaller particles called quarks. These quarks are held together by the strong nuclear force, mediated by force carrier particles called gluons. The strong force is actually the strongest fundamental force in nature. These force interactions are based on the color charge, just like how electromagnetic interactions are based on the electric charge. Quarks and gluons have this color charge. To be stable, quarks must exchange gluons with other colored quarks, forming bonds and creating a neutral charge. Because of that, quarks are normally found in groups called hadrons, and this phenomenon is called color confinement. But in high density and temperature environments like QGP, quarks can easily find pairs to balance their color charge. They continuously make and break bonds to abundant particles nearby, and quarks found in permanent hadron units like scions, where a charm quark is bound to a charm antiquark, are therefore less likely to stay confined with each other. Measuring this drop in scions was how CERN discovered QGP. In particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider, heavy ions of gold and lead were accelerated to speeds near that of light, giving these particles tremendous amounts of energy. When these particles collided, a fireball was formed, and the temperature of that fireball was high enough to form QGP. By comparing the presence of scions to temperature, scientists were able to confirm the production of QGP and discover some of its weirdest properties, like being frictionless or a perfect liquid. Studying QGP can help us understand how literally everything was created. This substance was our entire universe right after the Big Bang, and learning more about it can help us answer questions like, how was matter created, or what about antimatter? Understanding QGP is important to understanding our universe, and I hope you learn more about one of the hottest fields in physics.